Hello and welcome to TechRunner. My name is Wesley and today I'm going to be showing you the USB SuperDrive from Apple. Now I know it's been out for a while and a lot of people use it for the MacBook Air but I wanted to do a video because I had a little bit of confusion when I ordered this to use on my MacBook Pro. Uh, what I did was I took the CD-ROM out of the MacBook Pro and I put a, a hard drive in it, a 700 gig hard drive so I could run my time machines within the computer instead of using an external hard drive because honestly I hate it it's if you use an external hard drive you know as well as I do that they're kind of a pain to position right when you're traveling or at a coffee shop or whatever the case may be so this way I don't have to worry about plugging it in don't have to worry about uh, the cable you know getting tangled or whatever the case may be but I still needed a CD-ROM so I thought <clears throat> excuse me I thought I would order this and just use this in the place of the internal. Um, first I'll show you the USB drive and then I will show you um, the issues that I had and I'll show you how to fix them. So I didn't, I don't normally do unboxing so it's already out of the box. Um, basically what you get is you get a really clean looking aluminum um, housing which it's Mac so it's only expected that you do. and It's really thin. Um, Here's my iPhone 5. Uh, if you can see, it's about double the size of an iPhone 5. Let's see if I can get that. Um, it's really lightweight. You could travel with it if you wanted to. I just wanted to use it for here because I don't need it while I'm traveling. Now, the only downside to it is you only get about a foot long cable on the back of it. I was hoping for either a detachable cable or at least one, you know, three feet. What, what, whatever the case, however long they would make it, I was hoping that it was more than the foot that it is. Um, USB drive, or the CD-ROM drive works the same as your internal or externals that you've bought without the, you know, the tray or whatever. You put the, put the drive in, or put the CD in, and it'll show up in your finder, and you're finished, click eject, and comes out, and you're finished. Now this will only, as far as I know, and someone can correct me if I am wrong, but as far as I know, this will only work with Mac products. Um, I tried to hook it up to a couple PCs just to see what happens, and nothing happened. But no power to it at all, actually. It wouldn't even accept a CD or DVD. But um, that's my review of the drive itself. Now I am going to show you what I had to do to get it to work with my MacBook Pro because these are designed to work with computers without optical drives. And since mine already had one, I had to go change a few things. Um, actually, just one thing in a text file. <coughs> Excuse me again. I had to change something in a text file to where it accepted this, restart the machine, everything was good. Um, so I will show you that right now. Okay, this is how I got it to work on my MacBook Pro. Uh, the rumor is is that they have to te use MacBook Pros and Mac Pros and stuff to test the software for the drive and the drive itself. So they made it possible to enter a command and then do their, you know, Apple's testing. Uh, that's the rumor, anyways. But what you want to do is you want to first open up a terminal window. Uh, I think I already have one open, so I just need to go open a new one. Go ahead and minimize that. Now what you want to do is you want to type in this type in this first command. Uh, I'll have it in the comments down below. I have full steps on how to do this. Uh, you just hit copy from the comments, and then you paste it into your terminal window. Make sure everything is correct, and hit enter. Now normally, it will ask for your your password for the computer. You simply type in your password, hit enter, and it'll take you to the same page. Now, if you don't have this change, this file will not show this right here. Your file will look just like that. So what you want to do is you want to copy the MBASD equals 1 from the comments and then you want to arrow to it and hit control V and it'll paste it in there now all you have to do is 
uh, hit control or I'm sorry yes control X it'll ask to save hit yes if I'm in the right just hit enter and you're finished all you have to do is reboot your machine and when it comes back up you should have your CD-ROM drive uh, this is Wesley from Tech Runner please hit that like and share button and subscribe of course uh, if you have any questions or any um, problems doing this just put it in the comments and I will try and help you the best I can thank you very much